Double R T Boxing with Mr. A. Ready, ready, talk boxing. Let's do a post fight recap. Now, this is between E.G. Diaz Kavalaskis versus Moneri Montes. The reason why I covered this fight was because Aegis was high on the WBO Jeff Horn market. I think it's like number four. So I wanted my subscribers and anyone else who comes across my channel to be familiar with a name that's going to eventually be in the running for a Jeff Horn or whoever holds the WBO title shot. So I threw his name out there on my video, on my channel. That's what I like to do here. I like to try and at least get my subscribers or just anyone, boxing fans, familiar with other than the typical well-known names. Now, I had Monty's, my prediction video, my pr breakdown prediction video, right here on Double RT Boxing. I had Moneri Monty's winning on an upset. I thought he was just going to um, walk Igis down eventually and just tire him out. It could have went that way. If Monty's showed any type of defense, like I, I knew he was going to walk him down, eat punches, but if he showed anything type of head movement, maybe we would have saw a little better showing of Aegis because Aegis just threw punches and Monty's just cut them all with his face, you know? And he straight from the get go, um, Monty's round one was already having a mouse under his eye. You know, it was just round one, just jabs and moving, jabs and moving, and Monty's was just following him around. You know, round two, more of the back foot, letting combos go. Uh, he, he, to me, if you look at Ika's face, he's been a little bothered by the pressure of having to fight at that speed. You know, he was missing. He was missing a lot of punches, but in round two, he went for like a KO flurry, like trying to throw all these punches. They were wide and missed, but he just—it looked good because Monty showed no defense, no effort in blocking these punches, no effort in trying to show some head movement, just nothing. You know, let me turn this down real fast. Be right back. All right. Now I'm, I'm over here waiting for the Jorge Linares fight, but they're showing the the Triple G Canelo fight. So I just didn't want that in the background. Excuse me. Now back to round three. Monty was trying to jab himself and trying to do a body jab, you know, but you just you, you can see that mouse under his eye just starting to swell up even bigger, you know. Igis' left jab was doing a serious number. Like I said, Igis looked good. I said in my breakdown video, Igis is going to look good. He's going to do all the my right punches. But I just thought he was going to get tired because I don't. Th it, it, he don't look like he could go the distance. And to me, even in this fight, he was looking tired. He was starting to wear down. Round four. Montes came on strong with body shots. Got a corner just kept saying, he cannot handle the body. He cannot handle the body. And it seriously looked like he couldn't. Every time Montes was hitting him, Eagles was starting to back up and back up. Like I said, only if Montes showed some type of head move, some type of defense, this could have been a really interesting fight. Because us as fans, we got the entertain of seeing some good punches, but we we really got to see no true showing of what Igis is. The guy looked phenomenal on offense, but just, you know, his his opponent, Montes, didn't give us a fair showing of what Igis is. You know, Igis has great punch variation. He has a good power. But to me, he looked like he can't handle pressure. His face was, expression was changing. The body attack of Montes was doing something, you know, he gets, uh, just backing away, yeah, every time he got hit to the body, he kind of froze a little bit, he, he didn't know how to answer to it, and round five, 
Just another continuation of beat down and eat. Like, oh, Monty's, what you want for breakfast? Oh, punches. What you want for lunch? Punches. Oh, what you want for dinner, Monty's? More punches in your face? Here, I, I can help you with all those. Here you go. Here, have a lunch, dinner, and breakfast all in one. Punches, punches, punches. It was like, it was just sad to see because at the same time, Igis looked good. But his p opponent, Monty, was just sitting there walking him around. Eating punches, man. And then round six, you know, they have them. Um, they have uh, in the corner of round six, they have the doctor check on them, a long check. You know, he, he caught someone over, like, oh, what do you think of this? You know, so they had two doctors looking at him, checking his eye out. And basically, they're like, I just give him like one more round. And he came back out in the seventh. You know, he got hit in some bombs. He was walking into everything. And the referee just said, okay, that's enough. That's Just stop it. You're getting hit way too much. So, I can't be too rough on Igis. He did what he was supposed to do. He looked sharp at the moments he had to look sharp in. But you can't give him a full credit for this victory because I could look good if a guy just allows me to constantly punch him in the face. You know, a seventh grader could whoop my ass. If I'm just sitting there walking right into every punch he throws and not trying to throw punches back at him or make a miss. So, half credit goes to, some credit goes to Igis Kavalaskis for a great performance. But then you're like, oh, great performance? Take that down because his opponent wasn't doing nothing to challenge him. He would get up in him and do some great body shots, which is showing some effects. Because he, like I said, you're, you're so intrigued on what all the punches that was landing on Monty's, you you fail to realize, like, whoa, Egan's got a, some mouses on his face, too. Where those lumps come from? He was getting hit. His body was getting being attacked. But you just couldn't see it because there was just so much non head move by Monty's. He was getting smashed by punches. So, once again, Egan's... Kavalaskis wins by a, a stoppage in their seventh round. He looked he looked good. I still have questions about him. Maybe you do as fans. Like I said, this guy is ranked number four in the WBO. With that victory, he might go to number three. Who knows? But he's going to be in that Jeff Horn hunting soon. You know, either that or he's going to fight someone high up in that WBO. And the only people above him is a uh, Bradley Skeet, Lucas Matisse. And Manny Pacquiao. Those are the only people above Igis Kavalaskis. So maybe he might land one of those three fights. Who knows? This is Mr. A saying thank you for your support. Give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What did you think of this fight? You know, what do you think of Igis if this is the first time you heard of him? Leave a comment. I'd be looking forward to your comments, actually. I, I really would. You know, like I said, this is a fight, a fighter. I just threw out there so my fans and my subscribers could get more knowledge about boxing. You know, that's what this channel is here for, to help help myself learn. I, I learned a lot of about some fighters on just creating this channel four months ago. And I hope I'm helping you learn about fighters as well. Thank you for your support. Subscribe if you have not. Leave comments, thumbs, 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 thumbs up the video. Thank you guys. Thanks for the support. And ladies, thank you for your support as well.